Back. Back. All right, walked uh, down the road for maybe a quarter mile, half mile. And when you turn right on this road here, I think it's called Bushy Head Road. When you turn right, there's no marking for the trail. There's no diamond, so but I, the map, we just followed the map and it took us down this road and go like 100 feet down and then there's a marking. So I think what we're gonna do is veer off real soon off into the woods here off to the left. So uh, a few minutes we're gonna stop and have a snack. Take it from there. Finally made it off the road, guys. Had about, I don't know, it was probably two or three miles of road walking. And then we had that one really big uphill. And then we got off, off, off the trail, onto the trail again. So we just stopped and had a little snack. Some elk summer sausage with crackers. And so now, we're in a little Rhododendron Mount Laurel Tunnel here and we're in the midst of a two mile climb like a thousand thousand feet right rise so I'm gonna keep working up this hill here made it that was a long climb Whew. Big hill of the day, I think. There might be one more. There's Jim, look at that. Killing it. All right. That was a big climb, that was two miles uphill. So now I think we have a little reprieve for a little bit. wrong about that we weren't to the top yet had another 400 feet of climb it's been a pretty pretty long uphill it's ever since we were back on the road we started the road and it was paved we tried going uphill and going uphill ever since I think we've gone about seven and a half miles according to the Garmin right seven and a half miles around that let me get by you here. So it's been a good little, good little climb, good workout, boy. Smelly thing of water I brought. So I need to meter this out. I think we should get to our camp probably about three or so. So what, what, are, what are we averaging mileage wise, like three miles an hour? A little more than, about two and a half. Two and a half, that's not bad given these hills. So no, yeah, no. Jim, Jim's doing amazing. Shape he's in now compared to what, two or three years ago? Yep. You're in good shape. So anyway, down the trail. My own name is Graybeard. I'm not a river name, too. <laughs> Graybeard on the trail. Yeah. And you paddled the Mississippi? Paddled the Mississippi River from its source up in uh, north central Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico. And you're going, right now you're going all the way to Springer from, where'd you start out? Key West. I started in Key West, took a couple of breaks in there, but I started in Key West on the 27th of uh, December this year. And I've got to get the Springer by uh, the 27th in order to get credit for through hiking that, that 1,950 miles. Wow, so you've been going a long time.
Well, you've got from here, you've got about 60 miles. 60 miles to Springer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figure too. About 60 miles because it yeah. was 70 when I started out this morning. Yeah. And incidentally, in 2017, I became I hiked from Springer Mountain to Katahdin and through hiked it, and I hold that world record as well as uh, how many days? The oldest person to ever through hike the uh, Appalachian Trail. How many days? Well, it actually, it took me 10 months. Oh, okay. But, uh, but three. I only actually hiked seven months because I had injuries and sickness, uh, okay. and I'd had a plan pause in the middle to go home. Yeah. So if you put those injuries and sickness and the planned trip home, it, it took me from start to finish. I started on 1 January, finished on the 27th of October. Nice. When was that? 2017? 2017. I was class of 2017. Awesome. Graybeard. Yeah. Just Google Greybeard. All right. Are you, are you on YouTube? Have... You got a YouTube channel? Pardon? You have a YouTube channel? No, but I have Facebook. Okay. Dale Sanders on uh, Facebook. Dale. All hey. right. Cool. Dale Sanders. Yeah. Uh, Greybeard Adventurer. And I'm Mountain Ripper on YouTube. Ah, Mount Ripper. That's me. MTN Mount Ripper. Ripper. I got to remember that. Mount Ripper. And you are? I don't have a trail name yet. <laughs> Well, unless you're going to give him one right now. Hop along. <laughs> Hop along, Cassidy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, awesome. Uh, well, you guys uh, take care. Sure Enjoy nice your hike. walk. You're the, I've been hiking on the Penholdy, and I finished the Penholdy yesterday. Yeah. 350 miles of it. Incidentally, I'm the oldest person. I, I think I'm the oldest person ever to do that, too. But we're still researching it. So I, on the Penholdy, I only met about four hikers, and I met two others this morning, and you, three, two, no, two others this morning, three yesterday, all on the, on the BMT, and then you guys make a total of, I can't believe it, seven hikers I've seen in two days. Wow. Yeah, we didn't like that. We were at the shelter. I mean, the wood didn't look like it had been used, and... I don't think a lot of people through hike this trail or go, you know, go very far on it. It's like, especially this time of year, probably. It, you know, it's a rough time. It's a tough. It's cold. It was yeah. cold yeah. last night. Yeah. yeah. You see, you stay warm. I, yeah, I stay warm. You got a hammock or a tent you know or? No, I'm a, I'm a, what the you ever heard of the crate, the TKP program, turn trade key program. Never heard of it. Well, what it is is I, I keep I have my vehicle up there last night. And I'm sleeping in my van. My partner's got his truck up there too. So this morning he drives up, he takes my I see. 14, 15 miles up, my van up there, and he leaves his truck up there. So we, we crisscross each other. in the middle of the trail. So I'm hiking to my van, and he's hiking that way to his truck. Yeah, and so that's nice. It makes it, makes it, well, when you get old, 84 like me, I think that's the only way I can do it because I get a good nice rest, I get good food. Uh, I think the good nice rest and the good food are really, really crucial. And to keep you going. On. I, you know, on the AT, the first half of it, I was doing like those young kids, you know, hiking and camping, hiking and camping, and daily and day in and day out. I would have, there's no way that I could have hiked could have done that if I hadn't had just got somebody else had a vehicle mm -hmm, all right do the tray key program with me um it's pretty smart I, I, I learned that Appalachian Trail for the record through hike record they don't even they don't even require you to carry a backpack I do but they don't even require you to carry a backpack and they don't care how you get there as long as you do the whole thing in less 12 than 12 months, months. So what, what kind of day. food you got? What kind of food you you bring with you? You like the mountain house, or you got like well, I, other stuff no, in your in your van? I think your... I use a lot of the dehydrated foods. Yeah. Matter of fact, Mountain House is one of my sponsors. All right. He sponsored. We were talking about that earlier. That's cool. Uh, Osprey is a sponsor. Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, that's the reason I got an Osprey here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, the Florida Trail. <laughs> I see you guys got a Ospreys too. Yeah. They're nice backpacks. Yep, yeah, they do. They yeah. do. And they've gotten a lot lighter. So.
Yeah, I like mine. Yeah. That that was pretty neat too. I like that one. Well, I, this this is a very good one here, actually. Yeah. Very, yeah. very good. Well, enjoy the rest of your walk. Well, thank you good so luck much, getting. Guys. All right. Great good to right meet you. I, you. I cannot possibly remember that trail that YouTube name. Mountain Ripper. Mountain Ripper. MTN Ripper. M T N R I P P E R. M T N Mountain Ripper. Yep. M T N R I P P E R. M T N. No, it's not 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 just M T. It's M T N. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. But M T N Ripper. Yep. That's it. Look you up. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I got. I'm only doing Facebook now, but I'm gonna get a YouTube account. That'd be awesome. Yeah. You do good on that. Yeah. All right. Take care. Take care. Good to meet you. Have fun. Enjoy enjoy that downhill. Yeah. Yeah, I actually saw him on some of the, the YouTube videos from people from 2017. Yeah. That was a pretty neat run to somebody like that. Yeah. All right, we've got uh, going down. We got about another mile, 1.2 miles. And here we are at McKinney Gap, right there. McKinney Gap. So we're gonna go uphill right here. I think this will be our last uphill of the day, hopefully. The muscles are feeling a little sore here. Hello everybody, down at Hatley Gap. Take a look at the sign. Hatley Gap. Little camp area here. I don't see any water in the vicinity. However, uh, I did see some water up the trail where I just was. So, uh, there's definitely some water. I need to get some water. I only had one water bottle today. That wasn't very smart. So, I'm going to drink up some water, get hydrated and good camp set up see you in a bit there it is it's z Pax duplex i'm gonna walk around here and just show it to you look at that the wind's gonna be kind of windy tonight so should be pretty cool zoom out a little there you go it's got doors on both sides little view of the inside of it so it's the camo dyneema let's take a look at the inside of it yeah so you call you call that a bathtub floor right and you can adjust the height of the floor too, huh? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Maybe so. I got to tell you a story. Tell me a story. All right. We uh, were going down the trail today, and we ran into a guy named Dale Sanders. Dale Sanders. And he goes by the, was it Graybeard? Graybeard? Graybeard on the Trail. Graybeard on the Trail is his trail name. And, yeah. and get, a look, get a load of this. He's 85 years old. 84. 84. He's 84 years old, and in 2017 he hiked the AT, and he was the oldest person to ever hike the AT. And because he, he was 82, because he's 84 now, so he would have been 82 when he hiked the AT. And it took him 10 months to do it. And when we saw him on the trail, he was he hiked the Florida Trail, and then he went, he took the Florida Trail to the Pinhody Trail to the Benton Mackay Trail, and he's taking that back over to Springer Mountain. Wow. And he was by himself, and he's 84 years old. I mean, and he was he was just as spry as a teenager, wasn't he? Yeah. Seen like. Uh, Five people since he started out on the on the uh, BMT. So there's not anybody out here. We're out here by ourselves, basically. I cannot believe you have signal. 
I know. We're, we're, we're up. We're up pretty high, right? We're at the top of a mountain. We're in a. What? What are we? At? Where are we right now? Hatley Gap. We're at Hatley Gap, so it's a gap. It's kind of like oh, a little. Oh, but she can look up that guy's Facebook page. Oh, look him up. Look him up, baby. Dale Sanders. Posted five hours. Made it. Now only seven seventy miles to Springer Mountain. Mm -hmm. I told some of the mountains are different. Hike over on the Benton Mackay Trail. We'll certainly give it an old college try. Reaching Springer Mountain before December 27th is essential to get through through hyper credit from Key West to Springer Mountain in one season. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah, my legs are getting hot. Yeah, mine are too. <laughs> Which is good because it's, it's really cold it's really cold out here right now. Right. I'm going to set the phone down. It's supposed to get like, it's, it said in Blue Ridge, it's supposed to get down to 30 down to 30 uh -huh. but we're like way up high and we're like in the Cahuta. we're so. about 2,000 feet above yeah you, you got to add a little bit to it wow that's not good that's we'll, too cold for me <clears throat> we'll do fine mm -hmm. getting ready to roll we've got a 2,000 feet of elevation yesterday we had 3,800 so it'll be should be a little bit easier today we got about 7.8 miles to the car so it's pretty early going on to 8 o'clock here in a few minutes and we didn't have breakfast so we'll probably stop and make some coffee and uh, get some deep maybe when we get to water there's a pretty good stretch here from the road. Once you come off the road and hit the hit the hill going up, there's not any water to speak of until we got to here, about four tenths of a mile down the trail that way. Um, there's some water down there, so we'll stop there. But between here and back by the road, there's if you're coming through this stretch, mile 62 and a half, there's, there's no water, so keep that in mind. But the sun's rising, it's beautiful. But you take a look at that, guys. Mountain Ripper made to the top of Fowler Mountain. A thousand feet up, mile, mile up. Here we are, though. Jim made it, been kicking butt. There it is, Fowler Mountain. It's kind of backlit so you can't see anything, but we've been going up, up, up. You can see in the gut hook app. I was straight up for a mile, so we got the biggest chunk out of the way. Now it's just, uh, we just got a few little uphills. But that big one is done. So that's nice. Got it done in the morning. Here we are. Halloway Gap, baby. Right there. So we are at 3,200 feet. So I think we were at around 3,800 feet there a little while back. So 3.7 more miles to the car. Yep. And the total ascent that we've got left, counting everything, is 500 feet, 534. Total descent is 1,230. We got most of the hills done. Yep. How much? How many? How many feet was that that we just did? Coming up. Coming up from there, about 500. Wow. 
So we've definitely done, yeah, we've done over 1,500 feet, vertical feet. Well, from where we camped. Right now it's 5 till 11. To where we are now. Hickory smoked elk. Pretty good. Yeah, we've already climbed 1,500 feet. Pretty awesome. So how many how many feet for this whole hike? Fifty eight hundred or something like that? For between uh, between five fifteen and to here. Uh, I mean to the car. a lot of math. <laughs> well, I can have this do it for us. It's mile 50 to mile 70. Well, all those water sources have water in the um, summer. 5,000 feet of elevation. With all these leaves that have come down, it's really hard to see the trail in a lot of spots. So you gotta really keep your eye on those blazes. Double hog pen gap, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, let's look here. Okay, double diamond, that means we go which way? Oh yeah, I see it, right up here. With all the leaves down, you can barely see the path. Get to some areas where there's rocks, you can't even tell where you're going. Here's a blaze right up here. Coming around here. Yeah, there we go. Trying to figure out where we are. We just saw a double black diamond. There's a diamond there. So, I guess the trail goes down that way. Let's see if we're right. Here's a nice little creek. First creek we've seen in a while. Look at that. Crystal clear, baby. Now which way? I'd say that way. Let's go up here. Hard to say. Jim, Jim thinks we see a blaze here. Where? Right on that tree. Let me go check it out. Wow, look at that. That's pretty neat. Look at these trees growing on the rock. Look at that. That is cool. Okay. Back to trying to find our trail. Let's see here. All right, back on track. 
There's a blaze. Kind of got lost in the rhododendron field back there. All right. Continuing on. Little springs coming up everywhere around in here. What mile marker are we at? About 50 or 68. Mile marker 68, and there's lots of springs everywhere. I think ferns are simply big, this big giant form of moss. And if you look at moss, it looks like little bitty teeny tiny ferns. Man, look at that big tree right there. That thing is huge. Yeah. Here we are, guys. Flat top mountain. Right there, baby. From this point on, it's supposed to be downhill from here. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got a double diamond up here. Gotta go, gotta go, it's a double diamond. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. It's gone over a few mountaintops the last couple days. 20 miles from Highway 515 over to the Forest Road 64. Uh, about 20 miles, very steep uphill going the way we went. Going the other way, it'd be downhill about the whole way. So, uh, if you like the video, click the subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you later on.